you say, Lola? Oh, it I is Friday. It is Friday. TGIF. Amen. Well, hello. You're watching the Rise Entertainment 360. I'm Lola Oganike. And I'm Shannon Lanier. And we're here to bring you the newest and hottest stories in American entertainment, culture, and sports. Coming up, the cast of The Real Housewives of New York are battling Bravo for bigger bucks. Mm, plus, Britney's back, and her body is banging. <laughs> <laughs> and what is our fascination with the great Gatsby, right. Shannon? Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that with pop culture expert Patrick Riley and our movie man, critic Mike Sargent. Oh, I can't wait. And but before It's going to be a good show. It is, but we have to ask about your night last night because I heard it was very, very nice. Well, you know, I had a good time. I co-hosted an event for the New York Urban League. They had oh. their annual gala, and mm -hmm. I co-hosted with Sheba Russell. She's oh, on okay. a local anchor on Channel 4. Mm -hmm. She was fantastic. Isn't she cute? Oh, that's a nice picture. Yeah, we had a really good time. I'd never been to the event before, but I had a great time. And one of the honorees was actually Beth Ann Hardison. Oh, love her. She's great. Mm -hmm. She's, you know, she's been on our show before. She's right. just such a legend. She gave a fantastic speech. It made people laugh. It made people cry. So it was nice. And Iman was also in the house, supermodel oh, Iman. Beautiful. And whenever she's in the house, the glamour just kicks up to level 10. Of course, it? of course. And then I was also there with a man by the name of Kyle Hagler. He's a mm -hmm. manager who manages all of the great models including Leah Cabetti. Wow, so it sounds like you had a good time. I sure did, I sure did. I wore a cute little vintage top, a ah. Max Azria skirt, and a jacket by Duro Oluwu, who's a Nigerian designer, so it was okay. glamour, glamour, glamour. So you had fun, but you know, I also caught up with rapper Nelly at a Mike Night event. They're relaunching their brand, you know, the candy. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're relaunching their brand. They have a new packaging, new flavors, and it's pretty exciting stuff they're mm, doing. So what did Mr. Nelly have to say for himself? Where has he been? Well, you know, he's been doing the real husbands of Hollywood, yeah. the real house husbands of Hollywood. Mm. And you know, he's also working on some new music. Really? So you know I had to ask him about his album and here's what he had to say. Okay. Well, the full album is entitled MO. It's, it's my seventh album. It's due out later this year. You know, I was real excited about it. Um, I work with a lot of great producers on this album. Rico Love, my man Detail, Pharrell Williams. I did a track on there myself. Um, also uh, my man Frankie. Uh, artists, everybody from like my man T.I. I got the first ever Nelly and Nelly collaboration, myself okay. and Nelly Furtado, which is real dope. Trey Songz is on the album, Pitbull, Akon, um, wow. um, who else, Wiz Khalifa is on the album, uh, Future is on the album. That's a nice list. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a dope list, man. It's a dope album and um, the music is, is, is phenomenal. Look at you and Nelly. Oh, yeah, hot yeah. and here. Hot and hot and her. <laughs> <laughs> so is he going to be putting out new music? I mean, you asked him about his rap lyrics yeah, from later back this, in the day. Well, you know, you know, a lot of the rap music has been coming under such fire and about the controversial lyrics and everything. So I had to ask him about his rap music back in the day because a lot of people said that it was womanizing some of his songs, some of his mm -hmm. videos. So, yeah. but he actually defended himself. Here's what he had to say about that. Mm. You know, it's art and it's it's expressing yourself. You know, music is not politically correct. I don't know why people insist on making art politically correct. That's why it's art. It's creativity. It's to make you think. It's to make you uh, question what's going on sometimes, you know? And, and some of those situations, you know, from that situation, as far as the credit card swipe, it's comical to me because if they really had a problem, I don't see any of the people who were saying anything about that doing anything to help the young ladies who were involved well, in it. Well, you see what I'm saying? So. It. If you really are against any situation, then you have to be for bettering the situation. If you're not for bettering the situation, then don't knock the situation. Mm. He's trying to preach, isn't he? I know. <laughs> he looked like he was about to come at you a little bit, too. <laughs> I think he was a little taken aback, a little offended at first. Like, why is he asking me about that? That was 10 years ago. But, I mean, it's a legitimate question because it's in the news right now, and a lot of people are talking about what the rappers are putting out. But I'm glad he defended himself. I am, and too. Actually he, actually answered answered the answer, question. he actually answered the question. Yes. So that's a good thing. So kudos to him and all his new kudos music that he's working him. on. All right. So, so we'll be that. hearing his new music soon, I guess. Yeah, later this year. He'll be hitting his spot. Well, you know who we won't be seeing <laughs> anytime uh -oh. soon. I heard about this one. Oh God, this is so sad. Randy Jackson is saying goodbye to American Idol. That's right. The last <laughs> remaining original judge is hanging it up. Mm. In a statement released yesterday, the top dog said, "Quote, yo, yo, yo," <laughs> to put all of the speculation to rest. After 12 years of judging on American Idol, 
I've decided it's time to leave after this season. Why did I read the whole story that way, right. Shannon? Is that how he sounds? <laughs> yo, think, yo, 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 yeah. <laughs> Well, you know he added that he is very proud of how we've changed the television forever and the music industry. And it's been a life-changing opportunity, but I am looking forward to focusing on my company, Dream Merchant 21, and other business ventures. So he's got a lot going on. I think he'll be fine. You know, he's already producing hit shows like America's Best Dance Crew. Right. I love that show on MTV. It so. is hot. It's great, so he'll be good. Yeah, he'll be just fine. He'll be fine. Well, you know, the real housewives of New York. All these housewife stories, it's hard to keep them track New of York, which Atlanta, one. New York, Atlanta, OC, Beverly Hills. Okay, oh, yeah. well, we're with the ones in New York right now. So okay. the real housewives of New York City may be canceled today if a money dispute isn't resolved. Are you kidding? No, Ramona, Countess, Luann, and the rest of the gang have banded together, you know, like the cast of Friends did many years ago, mm -hmm. and they're demanded that they all get significant bumps in pay before filming begins next week. So they really, you know, got it down to the line there. Mm -hmm. And as for now, Bravo isn't budging, and a source says that all the women may be axed, axed, axed if they don't <laughs> fall in line. Wow, well maybe they heard how much mm. Nini's making now, because oh. she's making a million dollars per season. Wow. And I guess they figure if Nini get, can get that money, so should we. Yeah, but, but there's a big difference. Yeah, yeah, because Nini's actually pulling in the ratings, and last uh. season, of, season of the New York City mm -hmm. version didn't do so well. Well, if you want the numbers in your pocket, you gotta bring the numbers <laughs> when the ratings come in. That's a very good point. Yeah. <laughs> well, Hulk Hogan wants his sex tape to disappear from the internet. Last year, video of the wrestle, wrestler wrestling with his buddy's wife leaked online. Hulk wasn't happy and recently obtained a restraining order against Gawker Media, banning the site from featuring excerpts from the tape. Mm. Now the Mr. Nanny star is looking to use the same restraining order against other sites that want to show him in action. Uh-oh. <laughs> and lawyers for the wrestler say that he will take drastic legal action if these sites don't comply, oh, Hulk. Mm. Now, I don't know why he doesn't understand. Once it's online, it lives forever. You can sue as many people as you want, but it won't go it's, away. It's not gonna work. It mm. lives online forever. Right. I, I don't know, I don't know. Did you ever used to watch the WWF? A, a little bit. It wasn't a big fan, but I like going to it when you can see it live in person, slamming <laughs> people, but not really on television. I have a younger brother, so he was uh. obsessed with the WWF. So every Saturday, it was Hulk Hogan and <laughs> uh -huh. Rowdy Roddy Piper and Kamala and uh, who was someone? Jimmy took a fly something wow, off okay. the top you rope. Know. Yeah. So did he slam you after the show? Went yeah, off he was trying to beat me up. Absolutely. <laughs> Shame on you. It Shame was on terrible. you. Terrible. <laughs> uh, well, you learned a lot though. You got some moves down in I case did. you ever got into a brawl. I did. <laughs> now I know how to put the, something camel claw where you just pull your face off. It was yeah. Yeah. Alrighty then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> camel claw. Camel claw. I don't know what it, it was. Something. <laughs> Anyway, Amanda Bynes has been placed on three years probation after pleading no contest to charges of driving on a suspended license. The troubled actress fled from L.A. to New York after being arrested and charged with a DUI and being accused of hit and run twice. Wow. Well, you know, in September, Bynes denied trouble with the law telling People magazine in a statement, quote, I'm doing amazing. I'm retired as an actor and I'm moving to New York to launch my career. I'm going to do a fashion line. I'm not talking about being arrested for a DUI because I don't drink and I don't drink and drive. It's all false. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Amanda, who are you fooling? Come on. Well, you know, the good thing is she's here because you can right. take the train, you can take mm. a cab, you can walk. She doesn't have to drive ever, so mm. we're all safer with Amanda Bynes on this side of the world. You got that right, so stay on the subway, please. <laughs> <laughs> and it isn't even on the newsstands yet, but we already know who tops this year's Maxim Hot 100 list. And Lola, here's a hint. I made she... the list? No, sorry. Uh. No, uh-uh, <laughs> no. But a former Disney star did make the list, and she's sporting a hot and edgy new look. I know who it is. Who? What do you think? Miley Cyrus, of oh, course. Okay, you got it. <laughs> she looked amazing at the Met Gala the other evening. That's I true. like the spiky hair and the fabulous dress. Okay. Well, you know, coming in second is another Disney star, Selena Gomez. And we all saw how grown and sexy the MTV Awards performance was, so she's really grown up. And in third place is bad girl Rihanna. What? Rihanna behind Selena Gomez? I don't think so. No. Uh, that's wrong. Rihanna should be at the top <laughs> of that list. I would think so. I would think so. Mm, they got that mixed up. I mean, clearly, I should have been at the top clearly. of the list. Clearly. First and foremost. Yeah, duh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there were a few names on that list that sort of made me do a double take. Like? California Attorney General, you know, Kamala Harris. Mm. The president <laughs> mentioned her being 
being the best looking attorney general ever, remember? And then he made fun of it at the White House correspondence mm -hmm. event. Let's take a look. And yet, even after all this time, I still make rookie mistakes. Like I'm out in California, we're at a fundraiser, we're having a nice time. I happen to mention that Kamala Harris is the best looking attorney general in the country. As you might imagine, I got trouble when I got back home. <laughs> Who knew Eric Holder was so sensitive? <laughs> that was a good one. It's good to see him able to have fun with himself. He's a funny guy. <laughs> You know, one of the other, other surprises on the list was the fictitious mm. girlfriend of college football right. player Manti Teo. Now, that's just dead wrong. That's just wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just not right, people. Come on. And, of course, there were the familiar faces like mm. Beyonce and uh -huh. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Can't forget them. No, I mean, they're, they're always going to make yeah, the list. That's true. When are they not going to be sexy? Very true. And you can pick up your copy of the magazine later this month, even though I'm sure you already got a pre-order. Downloaded. <laughs> already took care of that. <laughs> well, unfortunately, the next singer isn't on Maximus 100, but Britney Spears is gracing the cover of Shape magazine. Mm. Yeah, the 31-year-old singer is sporting a white bikini, and she's in tip top shape. Look at her. She credits a 90-minute workout and yo doing yoga twice a week and lots of cardio. Now, she's definitely ready for the Vegas run that's starting later this year. Goodness. Brittany, wow. she's looking good. She's doing it right. You know, she's got to get ready for that show. She's got probably working out a lot as well as dancing a lot on stage, getting ready for her performance. So yeah, That's a lot of cardio. She's going to be doing it several, several days a week. Goodness. Yeah, All right. Check Brittany's her out. Brittany's back. All right. <laughs> The celebs are lining up to appear in Anchorman 2, and oh. guess who's the latest one? Mm, who? Kanye West. Oh. He was seen filming his cameo on the Atlanta set of Anchorman The Legend Continues. And you know, when I interviewed him for the cover of Rolling Stone years ago, we bonded over Anchorman. Really? Yeah, once he realized that I was as obsessed with the film as he right. was, he <laughs> opened up. It was amazing. Wow, well see, now you guys have something in common. We sure Maybe do. you influenced him to do part two. I probably did. He should go ahead and give you credit for that. He should. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he will, though. Well, <laughs> That's tragic. Moving on to Chris <laughs> Brown. He's raising a ruckus in his Hollywood Hills community. His neighbors are in an uproar about a large monster-like graffiti art painting on the walls of his home. Seriously? Oh, come on. Yeah, and that's what? not all. They also say his loud parties and fast driving is really disrupting their peaceful street, and they've had it with him. They're fed up with Chris Brown. <laughs> and here's what the president of the Civic Organization had to say about the mural. I get all the phone calls, I get all the emails. Um, people are just upset by it. We're happy to have him here as a neighbor. We have a lot of wonderful, creative, you know, celebrity type neighbors, but just be a neighbor. Wow, she's like the creative neighbors. That didn't look too creative to me. It just looked like a bunch of crap on a wall. But, <laughs> but hey. <laughs> Tell us how the, you really feel. Know, <laughs> awful creativity and all. Well, Brown, you know, he could be cited if, if he doesn't remove the paintings. He could receive a fine from the city. That's really interesting that he would choose to put all of that all over his house. I mean, it is mm -hmm. his home. It's his property. But you have to be considerate of the people around you. Especially when you're living in the Hollywood Hills. You can't just do anything. At least you could have made a, a very pretty mural that was very subtle. But no, monsters. Monsters. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, one neighbor <laughs> did come to Brown's defense, and he says Chris is an artist, and mm. she, he should be able to do with what he wants to with his home. Inside your house, be an artist. I know. <laughs> I agree with you completely. Put up a canopy if you want to be an artist. Okay. Do, so, do something. Paint your house one solid color. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I agree. I completely agree. Because you got to think it also will take down the value of the community. Absolutely. Who wants to move into the community Would when you, you got live, stuff like that? I wouldn't want to live next to that house. No, especially all if all those parties too. You got to think that you know. Maybe sort of him and Justin Bieber should just move into the same neighborhood. Like, all the celebrities should move into the same neighborhood mm -hmm. and just have their crazy wild parties and drive their Lamborghinis and fast cars up and down the street and leave these other people alone. That's a great idea. Okay. What do you guys think about that idea? <laughs> Tweet us about it at Arise TV 360. We want to know. <laughs>